Hi, everybody. Jeff Kelly, Chief Instructor at Sheelan Martial Arts in Corvallis, Oregon. Today, I want to focus on one of the hand uh, styles of Chen Tai Chi Chuan, one of the hand formations. Now, this is known as roof tile palm. Uh, it's a very important uh, formation that's used throughout the form, and it's uh, very important for self-defense as well. Uh, to start out, I teach my students to start with a straight palm, fingers pointing straight up, wrist in line. Uh, as you can see here, it's nice and flat. And what we're going to do is use an acupuncture point on the palm right here. This is known as Lao Gong or Palace of Toil. It's an important point where that can be used to uh, receive or emit qi during uh, qigong or medical qigong. To find it, you take your middle finger and go down and touch your palm, and that's the point right there. Okay, what we're going to do here is, uh, from the straight palm, what I'm going to do is press, press in to the finger, and what that's going to do is hollow out the palm. Okay, It's also going to help uh, with relaxed fingers. Now your fingers are all at a different level. Okay, so we've gone from straight to uh, curved. And this is, looks like the tiles on a roof, and hence the name roof tile palm. Okay, so you have a hollow area here, and all the fingers are relaxed at different levels. Okay, so now this is used throughout the form uh, to help the chi flow with a real. Uh, straight wrist, uh, the finger slightly bent, then the cheek's going to flow out to the, to the fingers and beyond. What you want to avoid, a common mistake, is to tense up, to, to kind of collapse the, the uh, center of the palm too much, and you get a kind of a claw formation here. So we just want to relax the palm a bit, okay, just pull, uh, push that in so we hollow out the palm here. Now, for self-defense, it's extremely practical. Uh, as you know, Chen Tai Chi Chuan is a grappling system, so a lot of times we're grasping an arm. Uh, now, if I'm to use a straight palm, a ri uh, rigid palm, and I try to grasp someone, first of all, it's going to strike and they'll react to that. Secondly, uh, I tend to grab with all my fingers and the thumb. Now, you can try this at home. Uh, just Pull your arm away and you'll find that it's fairly easy to do. It's fairly easy to remove it. With a roof tile palm, however, um, my main grasping is with the last two fingers, which are actually stronger than the rest of the palm. So if I grab my uh, wrist here, it's going to be a lot harder to remove it. Of course, you, you can with enough uh, strength, but this is going to be a much firmer grip. The other advantage to this is if I'm using this to pull the arm, um, I can make contact at any point here and slide down, and my fingers are naturally going to stop here at the wrist, like so. So I don't have to think about grabbing it just from this formation. It's going to stop here at the wrist. Okay, and you can see that that's basically roof tile palm here. Okay, So that makes grabbing an opponent's arm much simpler. Okay, so that's basically it with the roof tile palm, hollowing out the palm, the fingers uh, at different levels. Okay, it allows you to grasp uh, much stronger. Now, this is not used for pushing or striking. That you would use a more rigid palm or put the focus down here at the bottom of the palm. So this is for grappling. Okay, so that's the roof tile palm of Chen Tai Chi Chuan. I'm Jeff Kelly, Chief Instructor at Sheelan Martial Arts in Corvallis, Oregon. And remember, martial arts are for life.